Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'll be going over threesome and in threesome you're given an array of nums and you're supposed to find all unique triplets that add up to the sum zero. So here's our input. We have a nums array and then we're supposed to find which triplet combination adds up to zero. And then we have two triplet combinations here and you're supposed to return a list of lists with the inner list being the array of triplets. One thing to note is all the triplets have to be unique elements. So here we have a negative one and negative one, but these are two different negative ones that we're taking from the nums array. And also it cannot, the solution set cannot contain duplicate triplets. So the brute force algorithm is to check every single unique triplet combination and see if that unique triplet combination adds up to the sum zero. But that's very inefficient. So what we want to do instead is use a pointer algorithm. So let's take a step back here and instead of looking for three numbers that add up to a target, let's just look at two. So we're just looking, we're given an input nums and we're supposed to find two numbers that add up to this target. And what we can do to find that is use this algorithm called the two pointer algorithm. So in this algorithm, you would first sort the nums array, which is what I have here. And now after you sort it, we have these two pointers, a left pointer and a right pointer. The left pointer pointing to the first element in the array and the right pointer pointing to the last element in the array. And now if we add the left and the right pointer together, we get negative two. And now we compare this negative two to the target and we see that this negative two actually has to be greater it has to go up right to, to get to this target so then we would shift the right or the left pointer and if it were if the target were lower than negative two then we'd actually shift the right pointer in but the target is greater right now so we're gonna shift the left pointer in one and now we recalculate this number and it becomes one and then we move on to the next one and it's still negative one so this doesn't change and we still need it to be greater we need this one to eventually get to three so then the left pointer becomes looks becomes zero now and then now the number becomes two and then it shifts in again now the left pointer becomes one and then left plus right is equal to three and that's our target number and so we know that one plus two is equal to three and those are the two numbers that add up to the target so how do we extend this two sum algorithm to three sum and what you'll notice is that this question is a little bit different because it the target is always going to be zero so then you're going to have to find three numbers that will add up to zero and essentially how you want to go about doing this is we're gonna loop through this nums array and each index we're gonna fix, right? So we're gonna fix one of these indexes and then we're gonna run the two pointer algorithm on what's not fixed, right? So essentially after we fix one of these elements, the problem just becomes a two sum problem, right? Because we're left with a smaller array and we're supposed to find which of these elements plus this fixed number adds up to the sum zero so after we're done with this iteration we would move on to zero so write that here the fixed number becomes zero and the left and the right pointers becomes what's left and we keep continuing on until we reach the point where the fixed number is two and then the left and the right pointer are negative one and negative four. At which point, like we don't need to iterate anymore because we've already checked all of the other possible combinations. Let me go over the code and everything highlighted in orange is the two sum algorithm. So we want to extend this two sum algorithm, two pointer algorithm to incorporate three sum. So what we first want to do is sort the nums array so what we're going to end up having is negative four, negative one, negative one, zero, one, and then two. And now we enter this for loop 
and we have this if statement where we check if i is greater than zero and nums i is equals equals nums i minus one then we just continue so what this if statement does is it passes over duplicates so since we have a negative one and a negative one we don't want to do like unnecessary computations so we can just continue if we see that we have two of the same numbers next to each other so now we actually enter our to some algorithm part where we actually fix the negative four and the left and right pointer points to negative one and two and we enter this while loop and we check to see if nums i plus nums l plus nums r is equal to zero or not so let's do that real quick negative four plus negative one plus two is equal to negative three so in which case that is not equal to zero. So we enter this if statement here where we shift the left inwards, the left pointer inwards. And then now we keep continuing on and we calculate negative four plus negative one plus two, that's still negative three. So we shift again. And then this is the sum of these three numbers are equal to negative two, we shift again. And now the sum of these three numbers are equal to negative one and we're at the end of the while loop and we can see that it's impossible with negative four fixed to get a sum of zero. So we move on to our next iteration. So for this iteration, we have negative one fixed and the left and the right pointer being negative one and two. And we look to see negative one plus negative one plus two is zero. So we enter this else statement here and we append that to our results array. So our results array would have the list negative one, negative one, and then two, right? So negative one being our fixed number and negative one again being our left and two being our right pointer. And now we continue on with the, or rather we enter this L plus equals one and r minus equals one so then that means our left and right pointer shift inwards and now we're left with negative one zero and one which is also equal to zero if you add them all up so then we would append to the results array negative one zero and then one and now we're done with this iteration for i so we move on to our next i we can increment our i upwards and if you keep continuing on with this algorithm you'll find that there are no other possible combinations of numbers that add up to zero so we just return the results array which is just what we have here so just going over a quick optimization thing you can add you can add a loop that checks for duplicate numbers so in the event that we have a large stream of duplicate like negative ones, we can just increment the left pointer to be whatever's after that last negative one. And the same concept can be said about the right pointer. And this will save you a bunch of compute power and runtime. So let me go over the complexity real quick. And the runtime complexity will be O N to the power of two because we have that nested while loop inside that for loop. And the space complexity is going to also be O n to the power of two because we can have possibly that many solutions. So if we have, for example, everything in our array is zero, that means everything is a solution. So we would have O n to the power of two solutions. And that's pretty much it, guys. If this video helped you out, then leave a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.